hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel as you can see this is an industrial machine engine someone messaged me and told me that their machine is putting out smoke when they are using it and you guys know i cannot ignore something like that if someone ever need my help like that i will make sure i don't just help the person i help everyone so i want to show you guys what could actually be the problem maybe whenever you notice something like that This part of the engine is the cover before the coil and inside that cover there is something in there that helps supply electricity to the main engine coil which is called the capacitor and also the capacitor don't only supply electricity to the coil the capacitor also help regulate electricity which means if a high current is coming straight into your machine instead of going straight to burn your coil the, the the capacitor will intercept that powerful electricity first so if you found out that your industrial machine engine is pouring out smoke no matter how small it is that's a warning that's a warning that your capacitor is no longer working for you and the coil is beginning to burn little by little and at this particular time if you notice you touch the industrial machine engine you realize that it's much more hotter than usual okay an industrial machine engine shouldn't be so hot that you cannot place your hand on it for at least 20 seconds okay no matter how long you've been using it these are what capacitor look like okay whichever one that comes with your machine get exactly something like that and try to replace it and see how the machine behave towards you first before you can take it to an engineer or the, the technician the reason why i advise people to do these things for themselves is because sometimes you know they say we are with the work not deal with the job when you take this thing to this technician something that is not wrong with the machine they're going to tell you that it is wrong with it and they will end up tempering with it so one thing that i want you guys to understand here is that if you take your industrial machine to a technician and you ask them what's wrong with it they are going to end up telling you that it's a coil problem as long as you tell them it's smoking or you told them it's not working at all they're going to tell you that it's, it's coil and for some reason to prove themselves that they actually work on the machine they might end up tempering with your coil and if someone who doesn't know how to coil industrial machine very well end up coiling it for you there are two things that can happen majorly number one is that the machine start making too much noises or number two is start vibrating okay you need to get someone who can actually coil machine the right numbers of coil in order for the uh, uh, the, the 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 industrial machine engine to work perfectly in fact i have bought an industrial machine for direct from factory that comes and the engine is vibrating which means they made a mistake when they are coiling that machine from scratch okay so the work of capacitor is very very important you need to check your machine open this first this first part of the machine this round place that you see and always try to open it clean that place a lot of dust go through that place a lot because why the machine fan is calling in the dust and the dust will store in there clean those places. check your capacitor if they are working well if your industrial machine show any sign you need to understand first place you want to check is your capacitor capacitor helps supply electricity to engine and it also helps regulate the electricity even the fan that you're using at home the place where you're turning on the switch and on the capacitor is there a very small capacitor if your fan is not rotating very well if you if you double the capacitor you realize that the speed will increase that's what capacitor does to engines okay anything that has coil has capacitor next to it the capacitor helps supply electricity and also help regulate electricity okay so it's very very important